This is the world's most empty airport. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. So what? Uh, hope it will be negative. Right, so I just want to show you guys an airport nowadays in 2021. Pretty much by myself here. And last time I was at this gate, two years ago, that wasn't the case. Times have changed. Hope we will go back to normal soon and see more people in the airport. Not too much, but a bit more. That would be nice. Right now there's some uh, music playing here in Brussels, but uh, let's see if we can find one person in the airport. Of course, there's me here and my flight is in three hours. Yeah. There should be some other passengers. The current situation in Belgium is that you are only allowed to come here for work reasons. So I had to fill out a work permit in order to enter the country. Yeah, that's the situation. Here you see the departures. There are around eight flights today in the airport. But the whole day, it's uh, early in the morning now. It's not that early actually, it's 10 a.m. All the empty chairs. Cannot believe this. Last time I was here, it was quite crowded two years ago. But at that time I went to Bruges, I went to Ghent and Brussels. And at the Grand Place, it was very crowded. I can just show you a, a clip of me now in the Grand Place. Take a look at it, it's insane. Welcome to Belgium. As I would say, many of my travels during the pandemic, I've got the chance to see cities like Paris, London, Rome, Prague, and uh, many other cities with almost no tourists at all. And that's a once in a lifetime experience that I've enjoyed so much. A city like Paris, you will never experience quiet the next hundred years, probably. Welcome to France. So that was really great. Oh, that's one guy. That was one guy. Let's ask him where he's going to. Otherwise, it's really quiet. No tourists at all. Bonjour. He's on the phone. As you probably know, I had COVID one month ago. You can actually have a positive test up to 12 weeks after. So I got a positive test. Today I got a negative test. So up to 12 weeks after you had COVID, there's a lot of uncertainty. You don't know if you'll be positive. You don't know if you'll be negative. The case is I am negative, 100%. I was in isolation for 20 days because I had the South African mutation. So I was in isolation and I was negative two times before I went out of isolation. I just need to switch my arm. And also I paid 40 euros for my doctor, who is an expert, of course, to write me exactly my situation with the COVID, that I don't have it anymore. She wrote down when I finished having symptoms. It's a long time ago, and therefore I'm, I'm feeling good about traveling at the moment. Still get the COVID vaccine, but I'm immune, at least for a solid period. We met one person, he didn't want to talk. That's unfortunate, but there are some stairs there. We can try to go up. They're not even working. <laughs> There's no one here either. Okay, let's go down again. Insane. All the toilets are closed. That's perfect when you really need to pee. Should I pee in the airport? Probably not. All right. Let's see if we can find one available toilet. Okay, there are two staff members coming now. Take a look down here. They turned that way. This is, by the way, all my, my documents for traveling in Europe. I have so many documents. I have like probably 20 pages. All right, so we didn't find any persons, but two cars and uh, one of the cars looks like it has some red light. Let's go up and check. Maybe I can pee there. Just kidding. Man, it's that hell. <laughs> oh my God. This airport is pretty big, I would say. And as they would say in America, it's pretty goddamn quiet. And that's actually true. It's very quiet. Yeah, it's a BMW, German style, headquarters in Munich. I don't really care about cars, to be honest. I think it's a waste of money. I got a little shitty car in Denmark. That's perfect for me. I really don't care about cars. Uh, some of you guys probably do. For me, it's all about traveling. I'm not a materialistic person, at least not anymore. In the beginning of my 20s, I was maybe a bit more materialistic. I stayed in some expensive hotels like Marina Bay Sands in Singapore. But I quickly found out it was actually kind of a waste of money. 
to pay so much to stay in a hotel. All rooms are basically the same when the lights are off. That's at least what I think. And uh, that's, you know, I slept in a lot of funny places during my travels. I don't really care. Bonjour. Two persons. So we have met three persons now in this massive empty airport. Okay, let's just make a thumbnail for the video. That's how we do it. That was the thumbnail. Most like, oh my God. There's an open toilet. Yay. And there's one more. So I don't need to, to jump over these. Could I actually do it? I'm doing right now. But this is something you can only do in a completely empty apple. Like this one. Right. Last one. That was kind of stupid. I wouldn't recommend it. Don't do it at home. That was honestly a great pee. Oh, sorry, British accent, but uh, that was a really good pee. Well deserved, I would say, after so many closed toilets. Let's see if there are more passengers now. Oh God. Where is everybody? I'm not sure there are any flights today. When you look at this airport, the world's emptiest airport. Let's see if we can buy something typical Belgium. I know the Leffe beer. That's quite good. I had it yesterday. It was like 8.5% alcohol. That's a lot it's like double up of Carlsberg. Many of the Danish beers. So it's very strong, the Belgian beer. Oh, there are two guys. In the world's emptiest airport. Excuse me? Can I have a beer? Oh, there's nobody there. Forgot it. This is the world's emptiest airport. Let's have a look at the beer collection. Goodbye to all these beers. There's nobody to serve them. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Allez, ça va vous? Pourquoi est si calme? C'est calme? <laughs> right. I get so happy when I meet people here. Où est tout le monde? Aéroport le plus calme. So many rules now with COVID. So difficult to get around. So I've never been this relieved to go on a flight to Germany.